Prime Minister Tony Abbott added his bouquet of flowers to the hundreds that now cover the ground at Martin Place. Australians who were shocked by the 17-hour hostage ordeal find this one way to mourn and pay their respects. It's one of the saddest days as far as I'm concerned. In the background, police are sifting through the Lint Cafe, trying to piece together exactly what happened. But media reports here are building up a picture of why the siege came to a bloody end when the police had decided to wait it out. Eyewitnesses say 50-year-old man Harun Monis fell asleep. The manager of the Lint Cafe, 34-year-old Tori Johnson, took his chance and grabbed Monis's shotgun. In the struggle, the gun went off and Johnson was killed. This prompted several of the hostages to make a break and police, alerted by the sound of gunfire, put a backup plan into operation. Now that lives were in danger, they blasted their way into the cafe. At some point, 38-year-old Katrina Dawson was shot and died later in hospital. She was a mother of three. Police won't say whether she was cut down by Monis or caught in the crossfire. Katrina and Dawson was the sister. Reporting the news of her death on air, Channel 7 television journalist Natalie Barr broke down when she realised she knew Dawson's brother. One of our Channel 7 staff. Sandy Dawson, who, who I know and I have friends who know to us. The hostage taker was also killed. Monis was well known to police who arrested him several months ago on 40 counts of sexual assault and being accessory to murder. Now Australians are asking why he was out on bail. The Prime Minister is asking the same question. It's uh, pretty obvious that the perpetrator was a deeply disturbed individual, a long history of uh, crime, uh, a long history of mental instability and infatuation with extremism. It's midday Wednesday here in Martin Place and people are still coming with their tributes of flowers and condolences. Just up the street, the police are moving the barricades back a little bit to restore this street once again to a place of safety. Peter Hadfield, CBC News, Sydney, Australia.